Hello YouTubers, my fellow friends, my fellow friends friends, and the whole YouTube family in general. You are my family. Even if you don't like me, you still are my family. If you're subscribed to me, you are my family. That's doesn't matter who you are. That's, that's how I'm going to call it. And I hope you like it. If you don't like it, then you have to like it. <laughs> but let's take a look at the ISS, the International Swimming Station. Um, or but, but let's go look at the uh, let's go and look at the European side, the, which is the the ESA, the European Swimming Agency. Let's take a look and let's see what we can find there. That's pretty interesting. Let's see what the uh, the, the European Swimming Agency has to offer this time. We have to introduce the concept of free fall. So let's use this model of the Earth, and let's enlist the help of a friend, Taxi. You might know her. Ladies and gentlemen, if you didn't figure out by now, I'm going to be the first man to actually tell you this, that teleportation is officially real. We are live in the ISS and guess what? Teleportation is real. Let's go back and relook at that clip again. You see? Now watch. Oh, wait, wait, wait. See? This, ladies and gentlemen, should let you know that this is only done through the usage of chroma key. This is chroma key technology. This is green screen or blue screen technology. That's what is being utilized here. This is simply virtual reality that is actually being fed to you and you're taking this virtual reality, making it the reality. When in fact, all this is is simply just virtual CGI, computer generated images that are simply being utilized to aid with these missions of the ISS. Now, I'm going to make this as short as I can. Anyone that has experience with chroma key or anyone who has experience with virtual reality to better make things work like what you just seen in that video there, how this thing, this thing just magically appeared out of nowhere, this doll, this toy, uh, this, you need, to, you need the aid of either a blue screen or a green screen to successfully make this virtual reality appear nicely and go nice and smooth. Now, this scenery is properly staged. That's something you have to know. Everything is staged. You can't have, you cannot do things like that, what you, what you just seen, that virtual reality. In order for that, th that, for them to do that scenery, to be like that, it's properly staged. Now, for those that are still skeptical, Let's go to the American side of things and let's see, again, we're still at the ISS, the International Swimming Station. Let's go and see what they have to offer um, and hopefully you will be able to understand exactly um, the, the deal with, with chroma key and feathering and all those kinds of effects. Let's take a look at the American side of things. Now observe this next clip. What you are simply seeing is the usage of CGI and this is 100% proof that this definitely cannot be real. These people cannot be in the space station or so as they claim. Um, when you look at this, I want you to see this man's arm disappear right in front of you as he goes in the corner. You see that? Once again, first of all, you may think that your eyes are simply tricking you or you are probably uh, just seeing things and it's not real, but I'm assuring you right now, this is very real. This is the footage that's been attained from NASA itself so what you are seeing, this is a raw footage that has not been tempered with. This is directly from the so-called ISS, the International Swimming Station. So you decide for yourself.